What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Arthur and welcome back today to Subnautica. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today we begin with a little bit of saltiness. Um, <laughs> so yesterday, which uh, was Saturday, if you're watching this in the future this will be completely irrelevant, but if you're watching this on the day the video was up, uh, yeah, there was supposed to be a Subnautica episode yesterday. So I recorded it. And it was like over an hour long and I was going to edit it down. It was a pretty cool episode. And then when I put it in my editing software, dun dun da, only seven minutes of my actual audio like exported, which was super, super annoying. So uh, yeah, what I thought we would do to begin this episode is I managed to salvage like the first seven minutes of that episode. It was actually a really, really cool one as well, which was super annoying. So what we'll do is we'll watch that seven minutes first. Uh, of kind of where we left off last time, and then we'll get back into today's episode. So it's kind of like a split up two for one episode thing. But yeah, I'm really sorry that that episode got like kind of ruined by myself. <laughs> but what can you do? <sighs> anyway, roll. What is going on, guys and girls? My name is James Offixy, and welcome back today to Subnautica. How are we doing, everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back today. We're in a little bit of a dilemma, oh my goodness. So the last few episodes here of Subnautica have been so action-packed with the storyline and uh, yeah, basically what we did in order to get to where we are right now is we went down to the inactive lava zone, we found the thermal plant which led us into the primary containment facility where we met this very, very big, very, very big talky fish and uh, yeah, it was the, uh, the sea dragon, leviathan, emperor, whatever, she was awesome. And basically what we did is we had to craft an enzyme, we had to hatch her eggs, her eggs came through the portal, they came into the world, and because they are pure, and they are good, they have released enzyme 42 into the water, and at the end of last episode we touched enzyme 42, and we are now completely cured from the Kara. So, <laughs> I did this episode and I was like, wow, that was really awesome, what are we doing next? And then I kind of discovered that... There really isn't that much more left in the game right now, and I'm quite sad about it. I don't want this game to end. It's so cool. It's so pretty. It's so explory. And yeah, I'm kind of, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit unsure what we're going to do today. So do not fear, we're not going to be ending the series in this episode. There's still a few more things that we need to do. Uh, and the first thing we're actually going to do right now is because we are right next to it. So uh, yeah, basically the whole like beginning to this storyline involved us coming to this awesome facility. Now, if you remember way back in the day, we got a call from the Sunbeam, which tried to come and rescue us, but because we, uh, we couldn't disable the gun at that time, may have got blown up, uh, <laughs> by this weird transformer building. So, I think because now we are, wait a minute, isn't that usually a big mountain? Oh yeah, there, wait. What the heck? Where's the mountain? Oh! Uh, what's going on with my graphics in Subnautica? We started the series off so strong, and then- Oh god! <laughs> oh god! Oh, it's generating! What the heck is this? Uh, Subnautica, behave! What are you doing? Did you guys see that? I was thinking to myself for a second there, I was like, Oh my goodness, what have we done? Have we destroyed the mountain? Has the mountain gone? No, it's just Subnautica for some reason started to be very, very naughty. I do not know why. Uh, but yeah, so what we did is we actually came here and um, because we couldn't disable the gun at that time, the sunbeam got shot down. So I think there was actually technically a way that we could have allowed the sunbeam to not get shot down. But apparently I did look it up. Even if we were able to do that, the sunbeam wouldn't have landed anyway. It would have like flown away or something. So uh, yeah, it's all good. Like we didn't miss anything with like sunbeams landing and stuff. Uh, okay, so yeah, but the thing is we couldn't actually disable it at the time because we were infected. And do you remember there was like a, a thing inside that stabbed us? It was really, it was like a big angry sort of squid or whatever, like a mechanical being. Um, so I think what we can do now is because we are now fully cured and we can actually check, have a look at this. Speak. Why didn't you speak? Speak. Normal. Okay, okay, it says on the screen. Yeah, so now we're normal. I think if we try it for the second time, it should actually work. Um, so let's go and give that a go. And then unfortunately, I think we're going to have to start preparing our escape rocket. And it's quite sad. I want some more storyline. You know, the one thing that I was really hoping for was there have been rumors and stuff. I don't know how true they are. I've just seen some, like, insanely clickbaity videos. But um, there was, like, supposed to be some kind of Arctic update or something. 
I, like, I feel like it might be true, but I looked on the Subnautica, like, Reddit page and on the forums, and I didn't see anything about it. So I was kind of hoping that if that was true, maybe something would have come out by now, but it kind of hasn't. So I don't really know what to do. Oh, jeez. I don't want it to end. It's such a cool game, man. I'm so lost right now. Uh, okay, so what we need to do is we need to try and find our way back to that computer room. I was also thinking, before we actually go home... Because we're out sort of by the mountain area, I want to actually go and try and find a couple of, like, eggs. Oh, yeah, we can go down here, can't we? This is really cool. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, I want to go and try and find some weird eggs. Like, I don't know if every single creature has an egg type, but I was thinking maybe if I could try and find, like, a little baby warper or something. Or, like, a baby, um, like, the electreal. Are they called electric eels? Electreals? I can't remember. It's like the big angry electric fish. Uh, I was thinking like maybe we could go and hatch some of those. That might be super fun. We do have like an empty containment thing. And I'm thinking that if it's full of aggressive things, they might not want to eat each other. Basically, that's sort of what I'm thinking. Um, okay, so where on earth are we? So we've already been to all of these places. I feel like... I feel like the teleporter was down there. So if we went into that teleporter, it would take us to the thermal plant. But I want to go up to the top. Wait, was this a... No. Okay, it looked like one of those places you could put a tablet, but it, it wasn't. Uh, okay, so let's go and do this first, and then let's see if we can find some eggs. See, I think we're going to have to, like, make the rocket. And I don't particularly want to. We, we definitely scanned this, didn't we? It was some kind of detonation device or something like that. Um, yeah, I think the only problem with Subnautica... Don't get me wrong, I really love this game. I think it's fantastic. But they put so much effort into what's currently in the game. I think it's taken ages <laughs> you know because like every single mission has like pdas and it has a storyline and it has like uh voice acting and it has like cutscenes. and i just i just think you know it takes so long to make content for this game unfortunately i would love some more i want some more i demand some more here we go we're at the computer okay so let's get stabbed again let's see what it does this is the second time we tried this there's the angry computer and Boop. But we're cured now. <laughs> hey! The gun is shut down. As if we tried to punch the machine. Oh! Oh! So, yeah, that's where we got up to before my audio went completely silent. Um, yeah, so as you can see from that, a uh, pretty, pretty cool one. Like, we're kind of, like, getting to the stage in the series where I don't know how much longer it will go on for. Like, I don't want the series to end. I really, really love Subnautica, but I don't know how many more things that are left for us to do. Do not fear, though. We're not going to be ending it in this episode. Uh, there's a couple things that I want to do today, and it's actually something that we started at the end of last episode. So... Uh, what did you miss from that? Oh, yeah, so so basically what we did is after we went and disabled the gun As you can see that all of the lights went off in the entire facility uh, We actually went and we tried to find some eggs which were lying around because I was thinking you know what It would be really fun if we could try and incubate and hatch some of the creatures that we've been fighting and stuff throughout the whole series So, uh, oh, yeah and we also found another, I was actually just looking, I think this was in the Blood Kelp Zone, I found another alien sanctuary. So there was nothing really too much in it, there was just four iron cubes and a data terminal, but this was the reading. So it said that this antechamber consists of a series of data hubs, each adorned with an ion cube. They are networked up to the main terminal in parallel, presumably to ensure data integrity over time. Now, this is, like, the interesting bit for me. So, evidence suggests that this antechamber served as a sanctuary of last resort for the aliens that built it. In the event of a catastrophe, they could retreat here and somehow transfer themselves to data hubs for preservation. It is unclear whether other members of alien species ever returned here, however, uh, or how many souls are backed upon the hubs. So, basically, this place was, like, a giant USB stick. <laughs> and these aliens could, like, back up their... Their beings or something like that? I mean, this is like one of the things about this game. Ooh. Oh, hey, one of my eggs hatched. <laughs> I didn't realize it popped up in the top corner. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this is the one thing that I wish this game would do more of, like in future updates and stuff. I wish you could like have more history on the, the species and the aliens and the people that were here before us. That would be really cool. I don't know how they do it. Maybe some kind of, like, videotapes or something that you could, like, watch and you could see, like, the people and that would be really cool. Anyway, 
So yeah, we went and found that terminal, and I was just kind of looking around, seeing what I could find. So we do actually have another tank. Now, I do have my cuttlefish here, and I do plan on taking him outside, actually. I feel bad for him, because he's really, really cute, but he's stuck inside this tank. So, uh... Oh yeah, and I planted some kelp as well, because I thought, you know what, he seemed lonely without some plants, so I thought I'd do some kelp. Uh, yeah, what I did is I found, I think, three eggs along my way. So, uh, yeah, let's go and check these out. So I've got, like, this double tank in here, and oh yeah, <laughs> I hatched a crab squid. Look at him. Oh, he's so ugly. Look at you. So yeah, I got a crab squid. Uh, I got a, oh, look at this, a lava lizard. So this guy... Uh, is absolutely tiny right now, but this guy I found in the inactive lava zone. So just before you go to the primary containment facility, you have to go in through like these cave systems. And uh, yeah, that's where like loads of sulfur was. And I, I picked up a, la a lava lizard egg and he looks so cool. Like out of the um, the really orangey water of the, of the lava zone, you can actually see his proper colors. He's like super green. He's very, very fishy indeed. And oh yeah, I had a spade fish. <laughs> I don't know why I hatched him, but I had the egg. I just found it, and I was like, yeah, why the heck not, right? We'll hatch a spadefish. So I thought we'd try and get some more species. Like, I don't know if these guys are going to start attacking each other. I hope not, although two of these three are hostile. So I guess we'll just kind of have to wait and see. But I do want to try and get some more, just to kind of mess about with it, really. And, uh, oh, I looked this up, right? Apparently, you can get a reef back egg. I'm struggling to understand that one, though. I mean, reefbacks, they come straight past our base. I've never, ever, ever, ever seen a reefback egg. Um, so, yeah, that's an interesting one. Oh, yeah. And as well as that, I also made an ion power cell. Uh, so what I'm thinking about doing now is I kind of want to take Mr. Seamoth on a little bit of an adventure. Um, how much power have we got? We have... Oh, 100%. Okay, so he's, he's already charged up. I do have um, an ion power cell, which I made. Woo! thousand wow so a power cell is it's 200 so a battery is 100 a power cell is 200 but this new ion power that we discovered is a thousand so it's the same as five normal energy cells the power cells Jeez. okay that's actually really good okay well, we do have one of those just in case but i think we're good for power so I kind of want to do some scavenging. I want to try and find some eggs, and I want to sort of explore a little bit more with the hatching. So, from what I can tell, like, different eggs hatch at different speeds, and unfortunately not every single egg is, like, available, but there are some cool ones. So one which I would like to get is maybe an ampeel. I think that would be really cool. Um, I think you can also get some rays. I'm just going to... I'm going to basically just plop about and see if I... Ooh, <laughs> I thought it was an egg. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, it's a reef back egg. Nope. It is, I think, part of a bioreactor. I think it's a bioreactor fragment. Huh. So yeah, I don't know how... Um... I mean, the Wikipedia page said that there was um, eggs for... Uh... Oh. And do you remember when we were scavenging for pieces and I was like, oh yeah, those weird eyeball ones are super close to the base. They are. They're literally here. And if I would have gone up here... That's my base, but I didn't find those ones. I found some ones way deeper. Um, yeah, so reefback eggs, I don't know how how you would even do that, to be honest with you. I mean, you can go on the tops of them, and there's, like, full of barnacles and stuff, but I've never, ever seen a reefback egg drop, and I imagine they're pretty big, so it's probably difficult to miss. Hmm. I don't really know where's best to go, so I want to, um, I want to go and uh, explore some of the areas just see what i can find so i was thinking potentially maybe going down to the lost river seeing if i could find some cool stuff down there but i also do want to go to where would be best yeah, i'm having this problem here with rendering things in subnautica it's ever since we did like the, that secondary the um what was it called the uh the, the 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 thermal plant ever since we've been there and we had that weird graphical glitch i've really struggled to render you see what i mean what the heck, man? I don't know why it's doing that. It's really annoying. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm kind of wondering if there's an egg for these awesome, like, ghost rays. Ow! <laughs> the mushroom forest is really hard to negotiate, especially, like, if your graphics are being a bit weird, like mine are. So sometimes just random mushrooms will, like, generate in front of you. <laughs> I found one egg. I found a stalker egg. Um, which, which we might as well just do. It's like one of the, one of the eggs that we've seen pretty much the entire series because we've lived so close to, uh, you know, the starter area. 
Uh, so we'll, we'll go and hatch a stalker. I think Justin has like a stalker as a pet, doesn't he? Uh, what's it called? It's grumpy. It's grumpy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, So, I don't know. Maybe we'll call ours salty or something. They can be bros. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. So, I thought maybe this would be a cool place. Just to see if we can find some eggs. I don't really know if they even drop eggs. But, they would be such a cool one to have. These guys also live down by the Lost River. So, I mean, we could always take a little look around there as well. I think, like, the number one one that I would love would be the Ampeel. But, we need to go to a different biome. I think we're pretty close to where it actually spawns. If I remember correctly. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to spend some time here. Just just float about, really. Uh, and kind of see what we can discover. Um, oh, yeah. And I'll show you another thing when we get back to the base as well. But for now, I think I'm just going to have a little swim. We've got plenty of power. I didn't bring any food. Oh, yeah, okay. I've got a little bit of water. Food might be the issue, but we're not too far away from the base. So it should be okay. Uh, basically, we're doing an Easter egg hunt. But it's just past Easter. I mean, this would have been a good thing to do over Easter, wouldn't it? Why didn't I do that? Oh, well. <laughs> Ooh, I think I found one. <laughs> awesome. Hey, oh, creature egg. So, I mean, I'll let you into a little secret here. The uh, the spade fish that is in my tank, I didn't actually realize it was a spade fish. Uh, I thought it was something else. So, it's either like one of just the random fish or it's actually the egg that we want but i don't really know what it's going to be until we hatch it so some of you guys might know the eggs from like the color of them but uh yeah it's going to be a little bit of sort of a mystery hatching so hopefully hopefully that's one of these rays um it could be like a peeper or something for all i know but i guess we'll find out it's the only egg that i've seen wait no they aren't eggs are they See, also, like, there's some really cool little bushes and stuff, and I kind of want them for, like, purple pine cone. I've never seen a purple pine cone before. What's this? Oh. Oh, they crack open? No way. That's amazing. I never knew. I thought it was just a plant. <laughs> oh, it's got salt inside it. Okay, so nothing nothing too special there, but... Yeah, so I'm going to keep looking for some eggs. That's the only egg that I've found, like, going through this area, but... We'll move on to another place. I think the Ampeels should be somewhere quite close. I feel like they are anyway. Okay, well, I've come to the Bulb Zone. Um, I'm in Ampeel country, which is kind of cool. There's uh, one of these big... Ooh, there's two, actually. Hey, hey, hey. So I think if, if anywhere I'm going to find one of those eggs, it's probably going to be here somewhere. Whereabouts, though, that is the question. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've got... Uh, how many eggs have we got now? So, I've got two. Both of them quite big boys, so that's good. I would like to get an ampeel. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Hey. Chill your boots, dude. I think that's an egg there. Is that an egg? Hey, oh. Okay, okay. Steal the egg, steal the egg and run. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of those bone sharks, isn't it? Those guys are super hostile, so I'm a bit concerned about putting him in my tank, but I guess we'll give it a go. We can always make another tank as well, I guess. Sort of have, like, multiple tanks going. Um, Actually, whilst we're here, I quite fancy a couple of these for the tank. Uh, where's the uh, where's the knife? There we go. And whoo, I want some bulbs. Give me some bulbs. Do they take up loads of space? Yeah, they kind of do. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I can put them in my... I forgot to empty my storage, though. I've still got some tablets. Ah. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop the poop. I mean, the poop would be useful, yes, but I'm gonna drop the poop for now. Get out of here, poop. Poop. Be gone. Okay, I can't. I can't drop it. Hang on. There we go. Fantastic. All right. So yeah, we're gonna keep looking for an ampy leg. Hopefully, we can find one. Um. At least we found three eggs. So at least we can hatch like three things. I would like to maybe find like one or two more, but. I guess it's kind of luck of the draw. They're so hard to see. Well, some of them are hard to see. Like, some of them are a bit sparkly, but other ones are quite well hidden. We'll keep looking. Oh, I think I found one. I think I found an ampy leg. I think I found one. I think I found one. I think I found one. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's definitely an ampy leg. It just looks like one. <laughs> All right. Uno, dos, tres, catorce. Oh, I can't speak Spanish. Uh, okay. I think that's good, isn't it? We go, oh, hello. Stay out of your cave. So we got four eggs. That is good, I think. 
Um, so should we head back to the base and try and hatch these bad boys? I would quite like to. So I don't know whether we can put them... I don't know how many things you can, like, have in one single tank. I'm kind of tempted to, like, put them all in and see what happens. But at the same time, that might just be a terrible idea. I'm not too sure. So, oh, I'll tell you what I could do. I could take my cuttlefish out of the tank. I could put him outside, because I think it's quite safe outside my base. Apart from that one fish that's just a... Oh! Goodness me. You see what I mean by randomly generating turnips? Not turnips, mushrooms. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so I could, I could take my cuttlefish out the tank, and I could use that tank to maybe just put that bone shark in. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll decide when we get back to the base. Aha! Home sweet home! I just realized, I've been, I've been going around and it's like, well, why is my Seamoth taking so much damage? And then I realized we took away, like, the defense module from the Seamoth and we gave it to Mr. Prawn. Um, so that's why it's taking so much damage. But, oh yeah, this is another thing we did at the end of last episode. Dun 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 dun! We started with the Neptune rocket platform. So we only have one piece right now and, you know, it's, it's huge! I couldn't believe how big it was. Absolutely massive. Look at this bad boy. Yeah! Wow. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be doing this maybe next episode or something. Um, I don't know. I don't know. See, the thing is, if we build this, then we're blasting off, aren't we? Oh, I don't want a Team Rocket just yet, but I don't know. We did this, though. We did, like, the first piece. So, okay, let's grab some water. Uh, okay, so we got some eggs. I found another egg as well. I think it might be a um, one of those really, really aggressive sand shark thingies. So... It's just a case of which containment we're going to put them in. I don't think they'll be hostile. But I don't want to risk it, if that makes sense. Hmm. I don't really know. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I've decided. Right, we're going to take Mr. Cuttlefish. Okay, hang on. Use planter. I got some of these. I'm going to put one of those in there. Nice. Okay. I'm going to pick up you. I'm going to take you outside to play in a minute. But we're going to drop aggressive egg A. And I think that's aggressive egg B. I'm going to drop you guys in here. All right, play nice. Wait, yeah, yeah, okay, you guys play nice. All right, and we're gonna stick the other ones inside this big tank. So hopefully this will be okay, I don't know. <laughs> we'll soon find out, won't we? Uh, oh, they're growing, woohoo! Oh my goodness, my squid is growing! Yes! Okay, nice, so we're gonna go one, two, three. Yeah! Awesome, okay, okay. So we need to wait a little while for these guys to actually like hatch. So uh, we'll kind of mess about with those. We'll just wait. We'll wait for this episode um, and see what they, they do. I want to go and take my cuttlefish outside, though. Is he going to be safe? That's the thing I'm wondering. Let's find out. Let's find out. And drop. And drop. Hey! <laughs> okay, hang on. Play with fish. Play with fish. I'm giving him a biscuit. Oh, and he's pooped. <laughs> Hey, hey, you stay away from the fish. Hey, give me another biscuit. Are you going to be safe here, or is this one aggressive fish that just won't leave me alone? Is he going to be horrible to you? I hope not. Command. Stop. Stop. Hey, hey, hey. Stop. Hey, stop. Stop. <laughs> he's not going to listen, is he? Wait, once he's outside, can I get him back? Uh, okay, maybe he's just outside here now permanently. Okay, well, as long as he stays safe, I don't mind if he plays. You can you can play around here. Hopefully he'll be okay. I think he'll be fine, won't he? Yeah, he'll be okay. I hope so, I hope so, anyway. Alright, okay, so I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna basically stand about. Um, I, uh, I want to get these eggs hatched, and I don't know how long it's gonna take, so... I was wondering, like, because you can get beds in this game. If you sleep, do things hatch faster? Hmm, I have no idea. Oh, oh, oh! I think sleeping worked! <laughs> oh my goodness, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah! <laughs> hang on, I, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Hang on, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Headphones back on! I just went to sleep, and uh, every single one of my eggs hatched all in one go. Hey! Oh. Okay, I wish I would have known that earlier, but hey, okay, we did a thing and it worked. Yes! Okay, so we got some little babies. Let's go drink some water. Nice! So yeah, I made a bed, and I was like, I slept in it one day, and it didn't do anything, and I was like, well, it worked. It worked. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, look at this. So we got a little baby stalker, and a little baby bone shark. They are so cute. 
Yeah, these guys are a little bit more aggressive. I don't think they're aggressive when you actually breed them as babies, though. Um, but it would be cool to kind of see them grow up a little bit more. I want to go and see this one, though. This is the one that I'm super excited about. Where is he? Oh, yes! It's a baby ampeel! Oh, my goodness. Oh, I hatched two spade fish? Are you kidding? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, let's go and get in the tank. Why don't we go and have a little look? So, yeah, the... Um... Oh, look at the ghost ray. Oh, jelly raven. Sorry, not ghost ray. Wait. Are there two spade fish in here? There's one. Was it outside? Oh, I think it might have been outside. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Look at this. So our crab squid is growing. But look at this. We've got our own baby ampeel. Oh, it's so cool. Wow. I think we've got another one in here as well. Where is it? Oh, yeah. So the lava lizard is one that we did. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here's the bone shark. Wait. So what's in the other one? Is it a sand shark? I have no idea. I think it might be. Okay. Yeah. But look at this. We've got the ampeel. Yeah, so what I hopefully will do, I'll, I'll like let these guys grow a little bit and then maybe like next episode or something we can release them into the wild. And they should be passive, they shouldn't be aggressive towards us. Ah, <laughs> okay, awesome. So unfortunately, I think that's probably going to be about it for today's episode. Um, but yeah, there will be some new Subnautica very soon. I don't know what we're going to do, we might have to build the rocket, you know. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Uh, but yeah. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Subnautica done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rinse up.